Hello, so we are back, but this time uh, with a old job and people uh, request this video, say, sorry, please do a video when you replace the MOSFET. You remember this laptop, this nice uh, Asus Vivo book? This is a nice laptop. And also expensive, yeah? I mean, the screen, the screen is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's the laptop. So if you remember, we made a video about this laptop. If you remember. Yeah, so the video was made uh, seven days ago. And what happened? We found a shorted MOSFET. You see this, this one from the middle. We found a shorted MOSFET. Then I replaced the MOSFET with another MOSFET. Different MOSFET. And when we checked with the thermal camera, you see the middle MOSFET is getting hotter. And I said, you know what, my MOSFET, which is not the same with the other two, it's working harder. So let me order the original one and let's replace it. Okay, now just leave it on one side, this uh, problem with the heat here. Yeah? The same job with the same middle uh, MOSFET, with the same laptop, I made this video about four months ago. And same, the middle MOSFET was burned. So you really believe in coincidence? I mean, two laptops with the same middle MOSFET burn? Hmm? So the story is like that. The MOSFET just arrived. Yeah, I have the MOSFET here, the original MOSFET. But after I closed the last video, I was thinking, wait one second. Is the middle MOSFET? How the middle MOSFET is getting hotter compared with the other two? Let's open the laptop and let me bring the thermal camera and let's speak about, about thermals, yeah? Okay, well, the laptop is open, we have the thermal camera, yeah? Let's power up the laptop and let's check one more time. Let's check one more time. Okay, so pay attention here, I will try to zoom. Check there the middle MOSFET, you can see the middle MOSFET is brighter. That's mean it's working harder. And I said, you know what? The MOSFET which I replaced, and it's not the same with the other two. I said, okay, it's because it's not the same, and that's the reason why it's getting hotter. It's working harder. And after I closed the video, I realized, wait, one second, one second. So uh, those, they don't have a heat sink, right? Good. If they don't have heat sink, what will happen with the heat? The motherboard, it's acting like a heat sink. So the heat from the first MOSFET, it will spread around here, right? What's wrong with my camera? The heat from this MOSFET, it will spread around here. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It will be like a circle, okay? So the, the first MOSFET, the second MOSFET, so the middle MOSFET, it will take the heat half of the heat from this MOSFET, half of the heat from this MOSFET, and also his own heat. So I believe this is brighter because it's on the middle. If I'm right, if I'm right, that means it's a manufacturer design error. I mean, you cannot leave MOSFETs like that. Either you put a heat sink over the MOSFETs, or you put a heat sink on the middle MOSFET, which is getting hotter because he has another two MOSFETs on the sides. So the, the, to prove if it's true or not, I have here the original MOSFET, yeah? We have to replace the MOSFET and check the heat after that, okay? So let me grab the microscope. Let me unplug the battery. Battery is unplugged. Okay, so that's my MOSFET, but yeah, here is a problem. It's the same MOSFET, yeah? 5030 SG, the same one, but it's a different uh, different manufacturer. So just to be sure our test is right, what I will gonna do? I will gonna swap one MOSFET, yeah? Because those two are exactly the same. I will swap one MOSFET on the middle here, and I will fit this MOSFET which arrived today on one side. And that's how we will know for sure if the middle MOSFET, it will take more heat. Okay, let's do it.
Okay, so first this is my MOSFET, which I took it from a, another motherboard. Same use for graphics. Okay, this is my one. I'll leave it on one side. Now let's grab the second MOSFET. This one, side MOSFET. So I'm gonna move this MOSFET here. Wait, 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 what's that? What's that? What's that? Wait, one second. What happened here? Good. And now let's move the, move the MOSFET here. That's fine. Let's use a little bit of flux. Okay, so the MOSFET is soldered on place. Now let's solder the new one. Where is the new one? Here. Okay, let's solder the new MOSFET. <laughs> okay, let's take out the MOSFET. <sighs> let's take out because this is a crap one. So check that. The solder is not getting into my MOSFET, which is insane. <laughs> Let's try to solder this manually. The solder is not getting onto the pins, that's insane. Lol. What kind of MOSFET is this? Bro, you know what, you know what, you know what. Uh, it, it, it's funny, it's funny. No way, I can't even solder this MOSFET, that's crazy. This is not supposed to happen. I, I mean, I, I don't even, I'm not even sure if this MOSFET is good. Check that, I can't get the solder onto the pins, that's insane. Okay, let me bring my Rosin, maybe Rosin is doing a better job. Let me find the Rosin. Yeah, it's here. Rosin is doing a better job? Probably not. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so those four uh, four pins are fine. Let's see those ones. Rosin. 
Yeah, Rosin is dealing better with high, high temperature. I mean, it's not getting evaporated like the uh, the gel flux. Okay, here is fine. What about here? Here is fine. Here is fine. Yeah, all good. Let's solder. Uh, let's solder this MOSFET. Yeah, that's the right position. We're gonna see now if it's working or not. Let me clean the board quickly. We're all gonna see on one second, yeah. Perfect. You know what? Uh, I will give probably like 10 minutes, 15 minutes for the board to cool down because now the, the whole board is warm. Just for the test to be more precise, okay? So see you in like 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so the laptop cooled down. Uh, just to be sure, yeah. All are, the, they have the same temperature, yeah? Now let me power up the laptop. Now let's see if indeed that's the problem. Power on. Then it's coming on. We're gonna see now if the if the MOSFET is doing the job. You can see the whole area is orange. That means the heat is getting spreaded onto the motherboard. But still, the middle MOSFET is slightly higher. The temperature is slightly higher. So check that. You can see? You can see the middle MOSFET. The middle one is quite higher compared with that one with this and this one. Check here. What did I told you? And the middle MOSFET, I took it from here. Insane, crazy, I told you. I told you, yeah, now they got too hot and I can't see them. Yeah, but the MOSFET which we solder is fine. So, you see, this is a design issue. I mean, okay, you have to put more MOSFETs, I can understand that. But the middle one, always it will get hot. Yeah, have in mind this is the second laptop with exactly the middle MOSFET shorted. So, why this MOSFET are getting shorted? Well, it's all about okay, just ignoring the bad design. When they designed this, yeah, they designed the laptop. Okay, let's say if the, the people are gaming on this laptop, what's the board temperature? Yeah, because the MOSFETs are getting cooled by the motherboard. Okay, the board is 60 degrees, yeah? What's the temperature of the MOSFET? Okay, the MOSFET, probably the MOSFET is like 80, 90 degrees, okay? But that's like in the lab condition, because, the you know, this is getting dust inside. The board temperature is controlled by the fans, you understand? So keeping cool the main heat, yeah, like from the CPU and GPU, just cooling them down, so actually the board temperature is controlled by the fans. 
you get some dust here, some dust here. Okay, the fan is spinning faster, but at some point, doesn't matter how faster they spin, the motherboard temperature is rising. And on that point, you will have on the middle MOSFET 100 degrees, here you'll have 90, and here you'll have 90. Or whatever, or over 100 degrees. I'm just saying. Even if the board, let's say the board has 70, the MOSFET can have over 100. So, yeah. That's the reason why this particular laptop always it will die the middle MOSFET. Always the middle MOSFET it will die first. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it from the from the last video. After I closed the video, I say, you know what? Wait, wait. So this is cooling down, okay, by the motherboard. This, yeah, this side. But the middle one is taking heat from the boot. Plus the his heat, yeah, because as also this is heating itself. Yeah, so there you have it. That's why is this is the second laptop where the middle MOSFET is getting shorted. That's why. Okay, so I'll stop now. Despite the fact actually that MOSFET looks very dodgy, it's working. When you see the MOSFET is getting hot, that means it's working. <clears throat> okay. Good. I'm happy I fixed the, the gentleman laptop. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I'll stop the video now. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video like always. And probably see you on the next one. But if you have this laptop or you are the customer with this laptop, what I personally do and what I did on all my laptops, and I made a video about that, just very easily, yeah, one row of the thermal pad, cut it, another one, till it's getting pressed by the, by the case, yeah? And that's the way how you can get the heat out from the MOSFETs. If this laptop have thermal pads, like only just small thermal pads, yeah? One over the other, it will never get faulty, yeah? Okay? So, uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Just a quick one back, yeah? Because obviously... I stopped the video, but I'm not sending this laptop in this way to the customer, yeah? I have to give three months warranty, you know, what about if I end up with another burn MOSFET? So I'm, I was about to use two thermal pads, yeah? And when I tried to put the back cover, I said, you know what, it's not going inside. Actually, it is a thermal pad, but look where it is. Look where it is. So it's about here. You can see it? So it's exactly under under my heat sink. Let me put it here and let's try one more time. Look, you can see my heat sink. So it's here. How can I do it? It's here. It's exactly here. And the other thermal pad is there. It's exactly next to the MOSFETs. So no sure, you see, check here. Not sure what is the point to cool down this area. I mean, this is a, either a factory mistake or I'm, I'm not sure. But this pad has to be over the MOSFETs here. Or maybe the customer used the pad, you think? Anyway, this is a little bit too, too low. I mean, you can see the, the coils are over. So this is better. Yeah, something like that. And now, indeed, those MOSFETs. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so the back cover is, yeah, and you can see, you can see here, the both pads. You can see? You can see the green one and my one. The green one and my one here. Yeah. That's the way how you send the heat somewhere else, like on this case the back cover. It doesn't matter if you send it, where you send it. The idea is to send it. I mean, just increasing, just increasing the, the spreading surface, actually, you're cooling better. Okay? See you on the next one. Bye.